Hello and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hello, my name is Melissa and my family calls me Miss and I love dragons, so Miss Dragon. Today I am going to be going through my empties. I haven't done my empties for September. I have a few things. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is um, bath stuff. Well, the first thing is a candle, and that is this candlelight candle in pumpkin nutmeg pie. And yes, my glass is very black because I wasn't trimming the wick like I should, but it's the wick is literally, it's just buried down in there. I could probably dig it out to burn the rest of that, but I get these at Kroger. I just go to Kroger and I know they sell them other places. I think I've seen them at Meyer and other places like that. Sometimes they have them on sale for like $5.99. I think they're originally $6.99. So get a candle for $6.99. It smells good. I mean, why not? Now we're going to get into my bath products. The first few things are lotions. And the first lotion I finally went through because I've tried so many other body lotions and kind of stuck this to the wayside. This is the Nivea Original Moisture Body Lotion. It's just like it says, it's the original one. Um, I think they have like cocoa butter ones and stuff like that. I, I enjoy it. It's not my favorite. I still, and I'll say it from here on, you'll hear me talk about Soap and Glory a lot. <laughs> I love Soap and Glory body butters, lotions, body washes. I don't mean to say it like these things are bad, but I mean, I need to use things, these things up too. But that was okay. It wasn't my favorite. Just need to be used up. This is a Bath and Body Works body lotion or body cream. This is the French Lavender and Honey. And this smells really good. I really enjoyed it. And how many times can I say really? I'm trying to drive that that uh, point in, aren't I? Now, to go to Bath and Body Works and buy body lotions and stuff now anymore, yeah, I will sometimes, but the next one is a body balm, not a body butter. They call this a body balm, but this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm with hyaluronic acid. I liked it. I keep smelling it because it's, it's not that it's a bad smell, but if you get anything from the Neutrogena, Neutrogena, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost line, whether it's their moisturizer, their body butter, anything like that, it all smells the same. I'm not even going to try to explain what that scent is. The next little lotion I have, it's actually a sunscreen. Uh, so it's not a lotion, it's a sunscreen. But this is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. This is the tinted version and it is SPF of 30. And I ran out of this just recently. I love this stuff. I love that it gives a little bit of a tint to your skin. So if you wanna do like a no makeup makeup day, it's gorgeous on the skin. This is my favorite. I want to get this one again, but I'll use up my other one. We'll just have to deal with the with the white caps for a while. This one is a body wash, and this was one that I bought because I was I was in the store and I needed body wash, and I didn't feel like spending fifteen, eighteen, twenty dollars on a body wash, and so I just got this. And this is the Suave um, Essentials Milk and Honey Moisturizing Body Wash. This smelled really good. I mean, and it's swab, so I think it was like a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine at the most, maybe. But yeah, if you need a really nice, just inexpensive body wash, go with Suave. I like Suave. Do I like it more than my Soap and Glory though? No. <laughs> Soap and Glory is a little more hydrating to me. This next one is a hair mask, and it is from Briogeo. It's their Don't Despair Repair Honey moisture deep conditioning mask and i had to have this because for one it smelled good but two it comes in this little bear that i'm gonna be once i get something back here i don't know what the flip i'm gonna put there 
But once I get something back there, I'm gonna put it up there because it's cute. And I love Briogeo. Briogeo is my favorite hair care company right now. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be something in the future I'll find because it used to be Kenra and now I'm just rambling. I'm sorry. This next one is the Bedhead by TG. And this is just the mas Masterpiece hairspray. Um, it says it's Massive Shine Stronghold hairspray. I love this stuff. I found this through Jessica Braun. She talked about this and how Ulta will have it on sale. And they do. They have it on sale quite often for $9.99 a can. I think normally this is like $23 a can. So I get a backup every time I see it on sale. Let's get into facial care first, like serums and washes and stuff like that. One of the facial products I have is the Ordinary Azalic Acid Suspension 10%. This is supposed to be like a, a brightening formula. Did I see a huge difference in my skin as far as brightening when using this? No, um, I'm not saying that makes this bad or makes this where it doesn't work. Um, I just don't need it in my routine. I have so many other things that I put on my face at night and in the morning that I just, I need to start taking out some certain things that don't need to be in my routine. Another one was this Inky List Niacinamide, and I really love to include a niacinamide in my routine. I really like it. I, I like this stuff. I need to get a, another one. I just haven't yet. This next one is from Ordinary, and this is the Ordinary Retinol 0.5% in Squalane, and I really did enjoy this. I ended up re replacing with, after I got done with this, I needed another retinol, and since this didn't hurt my skin, didn't make me peel, didn't do any of that, I figured I would go with with something else. Not not that I'm out here looking for something to make my face peel. I'm just saying I wanted to try something different. I actually ended up getting a Kate Somerville one that was on sale like 75% off at Ulta. So I bought that. That's what I'm using right now. But I was going to go with the Inculus Retinol. I'll be going in with that next one. I'm done with that Kate Somerville. But yeah, this was good. I'm supposed to be talking about the products that I have in my hand at the moment. This was really good. Just wanted to branch out and try other things. Another serum was this. This came in an Allure Beauty Box, by the way. This was the Sulwasu First Care Activating Serum. This was really nice. I liked it. Do I feel like I need it? And especially for the price, I think it's, if I remember right, 80 something dollars. No, I don't, I don't need it. I, I'm, I'm fine. A face wash that I really actually, I, I enjoyed this. Do I want to go and buy a full size of it? Maybe one day I will. It's a little, little pricey for a full size. This is the OSHA Ocean Cleanser. And I love that this has this lime smell to it. I don't know why I'm saying it like I'm confused. It's lime. It just smells so good and refreshing. I loved this cleanser, but I wasn't going to go out and spend the money for a full size of this because it's pricey. Instead, <laughs> my facial cleanser right now is my First Aid Beauty facial cleanser. So I'm good with that. A couple of little skincare type products, but they're for the lips. This is the Dr. Pawpaw Scrub and Nourish Lip Sugar Scrub and our original balm. So on the bottom here, you have the balm and on the top, you had the scrub, which of course I used all the scrub. I really need to use the rest of this balm, but I'm worried because I've found that certain balms actually break me out and I'm allergic to them and my lips will swell. So don't ask me why I put this in here. I think it was mostly because the top was empty. I didn't have an issue with this. I don't know. Maybe I broke out from something else and thought it was this and put it in here, but that stuff's pretty good. Um, I don't feel like I need to go run out and buy another one of it or anything. This one's in here because this did 
give me an allergic reaction. I was not happy about it. It was the Milk Makeup Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. And I enjoyed it. As you can see, I used it, like a lot of it, but you're not gonna have an immediate allergic reaction to everything. Sometimes it's gonna take a little time before you have an allergic reaction. It happened to the um, Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, the original one. I had used it and used it and used it, almost used up a whole tube of it before I broke out and had swelling and I was, you know, figured out I was allergic to it. But this is the same thing, almost used up an entire thing of this before, yeah, I broke out and apparently I'm allergic to something in this too. What? I don't know. Can't get into the doctor to figure it flipping out. The rest of these are makeup products. So let's see, the first one, I'm just going to throw this in here because I, I did not like it. I got it because it was interesting and I thought, oh, maybe it's like the Laneige one. What is it, you may ask? I keep talking about things and not telling you what they are. This is the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Primer Serum with Hyaluronic Acid, Acai E, and a Blueberry Fruit Extracts. It does nothing. I don't see anything happening to my um, skin when I use this. There's no point, no point in having it. And it was pretty inexpensive, so I don't feel bad just getting rid of it. The next one is something I've had for 100,000 years. And I used it and I loved it ever since I had it until I found a replacement. And that was my, yes, it bye bye under eye concealer. My little baby one that I only talked about in about 50 flippant videos. And I really loved it. I had it in light natural. This is one I got from an Ipsy bag, you know, a long ass time ago. And once I found that Charlotte Tilbury though, that under eye corrector, that's, that's who took its place. I'm sorry, buddy. I loved you. And plus it's, I mean, it needs to be, I need to get rid of it anyway. It's probably old by this point. I've squeezed pretty much everything I can, can't out of it. That didn't sound like it, but it needs to go. The next one was this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Why did I say it like that? Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And it was just a little one of it. I enjoy this primer. I like that it makes my makeup grip to my face and makes my makeup stay all day. But I have found that certain techniques and doing certain things and using lighter layers, doy, can make your makeup last too. So you don't really need this. I love it and it's one of my favorite primers, but I'm just kind of weeding out of using primers altogether. So don't need it. The next one, is an empty, just a little sample card I got from Glossier when I ordered my um, brow flick and boy brow. This is the Cloud Paints. I had Dawn and Dusk. And this Dawn color, I mean, I love both of them, but this Dawn color was so pretty. I loved it. And these two little samples I used back to back and I love them. And this is what makes me want to get a full size of the Dawn. I just haven't yet, but I'm gonna. Last two products. The first one is a mini of my Precisely My Brow by Benefit. This is a brow pencil that I absolutely love. When Ulta had the 21 Days of Beauty sale, the very first day they had the full size of the Benefit Precisely My Brows on sale. I bought two, so that one can go anyways. And the last thing is just a setting mist, which is something I haven't been using a lot of either, to tell you the truth. And this was the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. I enjoyed this. I actually enjoyed it. I just, I used it up and said I don't need setting mists all the time, so. But that was all my empties for September. I do have some other empties. They are face moisturizers, like actual, you know, just facial moisturizers. But I'm gonna do that all in one video, just dedicated to facial moisturizers. So I'm kind of 
building those up and having, I have a little collection going. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.